Hi, I'm Zacchaeus, and this is Jericho, where I live. Did you know I met Jesus? It changed my life forever, and I want to tell everyone about him. Zacchaeus lived in a city called Jericho. His job was to collect money from people. In fact, he was the boss of all the people who collected taxes, so he had a lot of money. Zacchaeus didn't just take what he was supposed to. He took more than he was supposed to, and he kept the extra money. That was stealing, and it was wrong. One day, Jesus was walking through Jericho. Hey! Hey, there Look, he is! There's Jesus! Jesus. Right over, over there! Here. Hey, hey, over What's here. Jesus is hey! Jesus had done some amazing things, and Zacchaeus wanted to see it. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus, but he had a problem. He was short, really short. He couldn't see over all the people, so he couldn't see Jesus. This wasn't the first time Zacchaeus had had problems being short. If Zacchaeus was going to see Jesus, he would have to make himself taller. Hi, Zacchaeus. He knows my name? Come down here. I want to hang out with you at your house. Zacchaeus was very happy that Jesus wanted to be his friend. But some other people were not so happy. They said that Jesus should be nice to Zacchaeus, or even talk to Zacchaeus, because Zacchaeus had done so many bad things. Do you really want to come to my house? Yes, really. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm totally serious. I think you're confused. Let me help you, Jesus. This man Zacchaeus has done a lot of bad things. He steals money from me. He stole money from all of us. Oh, yeah. Listen, Zacchaeus. You may have done some bad things like stealing, but God hasn't stopped loving you. He loves you no matter what you've done. And that's why I'm here. The Father sent me because he loves you, and I love you. Zacchaeus? <laughs> why would I be jealous of Zacchaeus? I mean, I always followed the rules, did what I was supposed to do, while Zacchaeus ripped people off and collected more money than they owed. Why wouldn't Jesus want to hang out with him? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. What I did was wrong. But look, I will give back what I took. Actually, if I took an extra coin from anybody, I will give you back four coins. And, 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 and I'll take half of all my stuff, and I'll give it to all the people who need it. So that's it? He wants to be good now and you're just gonna let him? What about his past? What about everything he's done? Oh man, what's a slide? You know, she's kind of right. I've, I've been pretty bad. Maybe you should find someone more deserving of your attention. The Father sent me for everyone to find the lost. Everyone? Everyone. Not me, though, right? I came for everyone. Everyone! Except me. I came for you, Zacchaeus. These people don't decide what you're worth. And you don't either. You are important to God, and you're important to me. Today, salvation has come to this house, because this man, too, is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Now, let's go to your house. Do, do you have any snacks? I, I do, and I have a lot of people I want you to meet. It didn't matter what Zacchaeus had done. Jesus loved him and wanted to be his friend. Could he have done anything to stop God from loving him? 
No. What if he did something really, really bad? Would God stop loving him then? No. How about you? Will God ever stop loving you? No. Even though I had given Jesus a lot of reasons to be angry with me, he never gave up on me. He loves you like that too, you know. Hey everyone, it's Pastor Brianna. If you were here yesterday, you know that we talked about a man named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus had gotten rich by taking money from his neighbors in the town of Jericho, where he collected taxes. Not like the nicest way to get money, right? But then everything changed. Jesus came to town. Jesus looked at Zacchaeus and told him, I must stay at your house today. Even though that was like the last thing anyone else in town would want to do. And that's not all. Jesus forgave Zacchaeus. He gave Zacchaeus a new start, a chance to do things differently in the future. Today, let's take another look at Zacchaeus' story. Let's pay close attention to what changed in Zacchaeus, all because of the way that Jesus treated him. Hey guys, I was thinking, I have the best idea. You're probably thinking, Pastor Brianna, what did you have in mind today? But picture this, the same story, told in three different ways, with three different styles of music. Doesn't that sound so fun? I have this script on my phone, and it's going to help me narrate the story, but I'm going to do it in character. Don't worry, it's all right here. As long as we all understand that the story didn't happen exactly like this, but I think we'll get the idea. Okay, I'm ready. Story number one. We begin in the year 2021. Okay, good. If it's the present day, then this one should be easy. I can just talk normal. Okay. <laughs> Places, I, I guess it's just me. And action. Zach had heard that Jesus was coming to town. He hopped on his motorcycle and zoomed up to the tallest freeway overpass. He wanted to wait and see when Jesus would arrive. Suddenly, Zach saw Jesus pull up on the freeway below. Jesus was stuck in traffic because everyone wanted to be near him, even in their cars. Jesus looked up at Zach and said, Zach, come down at once. I must stay at your house today. Zach couldn't believe that Jesus wanted to hang out with him. They sped off towards Zach's house. Meanwhile, all the other Jerichoans were not pleased. They texted each other. Jesus has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Just then, Zach posted on all his social media channels. Look, Lord, here and now I give half of what I owe to those who are poor. And if I've cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back. I will pay back four times the amount I took. That was great. If the story happened today, I wonder if that's how it might have gone down. I mean, maybe. All right, let's see. It looks like next we're headed to the Wild West. All right, howdy partner. Old Zeke had been riding the range since he had been knee high to a grasshopper. His selfish ways had made him mighty unpopular with the townsfolk. But just like everyone else, he wanted to see this man named Jesus who was coming to town. Zeke and his horse, Old Paint, galloped up the top of the mesa for a better look. Imagine Zeke's surprise when Jesus spotted him in the distance and waved his hat at him with a yeehaw! Jesus called out to Zeke, Zeke, you get down here at once. I'ma stay at your home today. The townsfolk began to grumble. 
It don't make one lick of sense, they said. Jesus is going to be the guest of a sinner. Just then, Zeke busted through the door, sipping a cold sarsaparilla. He said, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of what I owe to those who are poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back. I will pay back four times the amount I took. I have to admit, that was pretty fun. And we still have one more way to tell the story, right? Let's see, what is last? Opera. All right, I'll give it my best shot. Zachary, the villain, heard that Jesus was coming to town. He climbed to the top of the nearest castle and waited, <gasps> dramatically. Jesus saw Zachary high on the tower above. He cried out, Zachary, calm down, Zachary, calm down. I must stay at your house today. The townspeople were very unhappy. They sang softly. Jesus is gone to be the guest of a sinner. Somebody stop him, he must not know. Just then, Zachary belted loudly for everyone to hear. Look, Lord, here and now, I give half of what I own to those who are poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back. I will pay back four times the amount I took.